well good afternoon my dear students in the last class we were able to discuss the orders with few segments and today we are going to continue it well uh, till page number 108 paragraph 2 till here we could able to complete in the last class my dear students and today we'll start from third paragraph page number 109 all right he said in english and then reverted to ibo ibo in the sense ibo i mean to the elders after listening to the opinions of the elders mr rufus okeke he just told them let us not quarrel about small things he stood up adjusted his robes and plunged his hand once more into the bag he asked them not to quarrel about small things as of now you are not satisfied with two shillings but whatever it may please listen to my words he plunged his hands into his pocket and back into the bag he puts his hands into the bag where the shillings were kept then he bent down like a priest distributing the host and gave one shilling more to every one then he started to drop each was being given one selling so that they will be able to accept his proposal so that they will be able to cast their votes for pap only he did not put it into their palms but on the floor in front of them the men who had so far not dared to want to touch the things look at the floor and shook their heads roof got up again and gave each man another selling after putting his hands into the bag he just collected one selling and he did not give them he did not give the selings into their palms instead he just dropped them on the floor my dear students he did not give them into their palms but he dropped on the floor fine and everyone was uh, expecting that then what happened i am through he said with a defiance that was no less effective for being transparently faked defiance in the sense he was not uh, able to accept was not able to accept, accept in the sense refused to say that it cannot be accepted as if it is fake transparently fake my dear students here he has gone through the people's mindset i mean especially the elders mindset who are sitting at the house of Zenbar. All are very much serious about expecting two more slings, but now only one. I mean, third sling. After giving, after distributing two slings each, one more sling was being given to them. Then also, these people are not ready to accept his request. Then what did he do? what was okay did do the elders to knew how far to go without losing decorum elders knew it decorum in the sense discipline let us not to lose our discipline because if we disturb here if we do not have systematized planning or if we do not show the dignity in this way if we do not respect each other 
definitely we will be losing and people may come to know that whatever we are planning or whatever we are doing secretly we are fine so when roof added go cast your paper for that if you like my dear students please underline this line go cast your paper for the enemy if you like after giving them the one more points i mean totally each one was being given with four cylinders each one was being given each one was being given with one let us not to use both at the same time each was being given with one cylinder are four cylinders four cylinders my dear students not one four cylinders so here after giving them with four cylinders were they happy were they satisfied after giving them with four cylinders after each was being given four cylinders he was expecting of course the electorate mind whether they are ready to vote for mr marcus ib or not marcus ib or not whether electorate i mean people these elders are going to change the people's mind or not are they going to convince the people to cast their votes for that that is the questionable thing that is what Mr. Roof asks all the elders that if you are not able to cast your votes, if you are willingly cast, if you are willing, are willingly to do it, you can do it. There is no issue. But if you are not ready to cast your vote for Marcus I B, you can cast your vote for anybody else. I don't have any objections. Regard. All right. They quickly coming down with a suitable speech from each of them. They quickly coming down. I mean, one after the other, they started to speak. Now, by the time the last man had spoken, it was possible, without great loss of dignity, to pick up the things from the floor. My dear students, as he outburst with his feelings. obviously after giving the uh, away are after distributing each with four cylinders obviously he expected that these people are going to cast their votes to whom to mr marcus id but each one of them i mean everybody started to convince mr rufus okike that if you are not able to listen to our words then what is the use of holding the meeting over here at this juncture we we'll have to be united if you are united we can have the victory for party called bad people's alliance party i mean
Pitashu to the outer earth, I had already told you the difference between Pap and Pap. Yes, Pap is Pap belongs to one side, Pap belongs to Maduka, who is the chief of this party, Progressive Organization Party, Mr. Maduka. This party is had been formed by the tribes down the coast to save themselves as the founders of the party proclaimed. Proclamation it is, it is an official statement. Announcement of an official statement. Proclaim, they announced something else. They announced during elections, they announced with, us, with their manifestos. I mean, different in their campaign, in their campaigns during election campaigns, they have lots of demands and desires. Obviously, at the same time, in what way the people are going to have demands and desires? If they are supposed to be fulfilled, how they are supposed to act according to their plans? So, by using their tricks, what they wanted to do it here, for party people, they wanted to destroy everything. In what way they wanted to destroy? From all the areas, like uh, from total political, cultural, social and religious annihilation. Annihilation in the sense of complete destruction, my dear students. They wanted to destroy completely, annihilate completely. They wanted to, uh, I mean, kill their reputation. Whose reputation? Bad party's reputation, name and fame. But what happened? Although it was clear the party had no chance here, it had plunged. Plunged in the sense of dying. Up. Party did not have any name. Party did not get any reputation so far. People were not going about the pop so far. People, electorate of Amofia, uh, were very much concerned with only the party called PAP. They were not known to this party. But now onwards, as soon as pop, I mean progressive organization party came into force, I mean, came uh, right before the public, they started to know that. What is the uh, what is the importance of this party and what are the manifestos of this party and how they are going to fulfill the people's demands in the future after winning in the elections. Obviously, if uh, in the same way, in a market, if you find a new product, you will be having curiosity about it. In what way it functions, in what way it works, what are the loopholes, what are the benefits, what are the plus points and minus points. Everything is weighed and measured by we ourselves. My dear students, in the same way, after entering pop into Mofia, right, Mr. Marcus Ivy's constituency, people started to think about it, but they did not change their mind. That is the reality over here. Alright. But typical foolishness into a straight fight with Pat, providing cards and loudspeakers to a few local rascals and thugs to go around and make a lot of noise. Thugs means a violent criminal. Thugs means what? Violent criminal. My dear students, they entered into Umofia with loudspeakers. They started their campaigns by using the speakers and even uh, they hired band company itself with uh, a few more political uh, parties, activists. They started to, yes, raise their voice with their party's slogans. This is what going on. They, they just wanted to annihilate, they destroy, they wanted to destroy uh, Pap Party's political image, 
religious image, social image, and ethical image. In all the ways, totally pact should not be there in its existence now. This was the main motto of the party called Pop Korea. Alright, they didn't want to have its existence over there. Right. No one knew, no one knew for certain how much money Pop had let loose in Mofia, but it is said to be very considerable. The local campaigners would end up very rich, no doubt. My dear students, thing is that many a times what happens? Yes, if any new party comes or if any new party will come into any new constituency, people will have curiosity and if they are being given more money, if they are being given more benefits, definitely they will turn their mind towards it. This is very common and there is no doubt that the middlemen or the political party activists, they have made a lot of money. They have got a lot of money during the elections as I told you before uh, or else in the, yes, even in the previous classes. I just had told you people, yes, elections are nothing but, yes, celebrating like a festival, they, they, they used to be into a lavish lifestyle and they don't think about anybody else. There is no relationship, there is no friendship and there is no procreation. Yes, they proclaim it and they do not have any proximity at all between or among though brothers are going to uh, who are belong to the same family, if they contest in the election from different parties, they do not keep any relationship in this regard. They think about only their motto. That is the reason we are also be come across with a difference of opinion in what way Bob is thinking is already thought by Mr. Uh, yes. Marcus Ives and his PAP party. My dear students, campaigners, campaigners in the sense, usually if we, uh, if PAP party is not going to be into a ruling one or it will not be in the ruling party again, right in the forthcoming elections, Definitely people will come for this. I mean people will serve for this. To which party? I mean progressive organization party. That is why, right, people do not want to look at on the other side. They want to look at on only the progressive side where they will get a lot of money, where they will make a lot of money, where they will become rich. Everyone wants to become rich over the night. Everyone wants to be rich without working hard. I mean, by sitting simply itself, everyone wants to be rich. This is truly disgusting thing. It is truly illogical and illicit, illegal. But yet, people are completely involved into this activity, especially in the elections where we do not find the place for honest people or trustworthy people. People who are having patriotic feelings and those who want to serve for the country, my dear students. This is what we come across through this lesson, really. Next, uh, please, uh, first paragraph, I request you people to underline the entire paragraph. My dear students, let us continue the next. Up to last night everything had been moving according to plan as Roof would have put it. Then he had received a strange visit from the leader of the pop campaign team. Up to last night everything was flowing very smooth. He did not find, he did not find any disturbance from any other ways. Everything was going on smoothly. 
Then uh, he found that there was a strange uh, visit from opposition party. I mean enemy party. Who is that? Yes. Although he and Roof were well known to each other. He and Roof were well known to each other. And might even be called friends. His visit was cold and business like. No words were wasted. It was like, yes, his, his visits were very cold like. I mean, they were known to each other. Both were friends. It was like business. It was uh, business like. But still, they didn't find any dif difficulty over there in their conversation. They met as if they were friends. They were well known between each other. And yet, what they are going to have the conversation? That's the different. And they are not going to waste their time even. Then what is their main motto? Why did he visit? Why did the stranger visit Rufus OKK at night? Or at night? What is the main motto over there? He placed five pounds on the floor before Ruf and said, We want your votes. We want your votes. Then he just uh, shocked. He, uh, he was not knowing why this guy is asking me for a single quote. What is the reason behind? My dear students, please underline this line. From no words to tell, we want your quote. Roof got up from, the, from his chair, went to the outside door, closed it carefully and returned to his chair. He mesmerized. He bewildered. He got shocked or surprised after seeing the strange man's visit. And what should he reply at this juncture or at this moment of time? Now, if one is completely put into dilemma, one cannot think anything. He just closed the door. And he sat on his chair again, right? The brief exercise gave him enough time to weigh the proposition. Proposition in the sense of theory or assertion. I mean, what he would like to give now? What, he, what would be his next reply? He just been baffled. He just baffled. Baffled in the sense he confused himself. Why he confused? If someone comes to you immediately, you have a preparatory examination or annual examination by tomorrow itself, right? Your preparation has been done. You have prepared very well for the exams now. You have a tomorrow physics or chemistry, mathematics or biology or English or Kannada or Hindi. You have. You will get the question paper well in advance, which is already leaked out. You do not know that. You'll be confused. You'll be surprised. But at the very next moment, you will think that I have prepared well. Why should I think about this paper? If you are really intelligent, you will think in this way. And if you are not at all prepared for the exams, definitely you will think that. Yeah, it's wonderful opportunity for me. What a great opportunity I have. God, oh God, thank, thank you very much for blessing me with this question paper well in advance. You'll be thinking, my dear students, definitely. Some of you, not all of you. Yes. So in the same way, if someone is preparing for the election from a particular party, Mr. Rufus OKK, from the party called PAM, if he is visited by someone who is not even known about his visit, but yet he is trying to convince him to support for the opposite party in the election. This is truly disgusting. One cannot expect this. How? He seemed to be mesmerized by the picture of the Mokoa farmer, I mean, his eyes. As he spoke, 
his eyes never left the red notes on the floor. He seemed to be mesmerized by the picture of the cocoa farmer harvesting his crops. Five pounds of red notes. Five pounds red note. Yes, was given by. A strange visitor. My dear students, for one more question. In any ways, you will be asked, who gave, who did give five pounds red note? A strange visitor. Obviously, he gave, he just puts on the floor five pounds red notes, which was having a cocoa farmer harvesting on it. But he was mesmerized by it. Why he was surprised by it? Because so far he did not see such a red pound note. He did not find such a valuable note or currency. But now he is seeing this. Now he is observing. This is truly great thing. Unbelievable, unfathomable. Things are going in a different way itself. What he wants to do, he is not getting it. I mean, in, in what way he is going, in which way he is going, the way he is not showing in the path. It is shown, excuse me, it is shown by some other thoughts. It is, it is completely misled. I mean, he is misguided. His way is not at all being shown properly over here in this way. So what would be his next answer? My dear students, please underline this. This entire paragraph, second paragraph, from up to last night to till harvesting his crops. You know, I work for Marcus. He said feebly, feebly listen, so very weak. You know, I work for markets. Right? It will be very bad. Whatever you say, of course, I agree for that. But whatever you are saying is completely making me to think now. Markets will not be there when you put in your paper. We have plenty of work to do tonight. Are you taking this or not? Marcus will not be there. Marcus, I do not see your ballot paper. If you cast your vote for Marcus Ivey, he will not see your ballot paper in the ballot box. Then what will he see? He will see entirely. I mean, whether people are casting their votes. He will see externally, not internally. He cannot go and check the voting boxes. Fine. Then what he wants to do it? He says that we have plenty of work to do tonight. Then a man asks him again, Are you taking this note or not now? Are you taking this note or not now? Because we have to do, we have a lot of work tonight. It will not be heard outside this room. Ask the roof. You are giving me this red pound. See, red. Yes, five pounds red note. Outside of this room, they should not hear whatever is going on inside this room. People should not remember this. People should not mistake it. People should not have misconceptions about our business, whatever we are discussing in the room here, about five pounds red note, my dear students, one should remember, one should believe that, how, yes, Mr. Roof, Roof is mesmerized, how he is baffled by, how he is baffled by five pounds red this is truly unbelievable. Still it is believable.
pebble. Why it is the pebble? Because human mind is fickle. Yes, because humans wants are unlimited, as I told you in the last class, my dear students. Now, whatever he is thinking, after a few hours, if he was thinking earlier about this positive, he will start to think negatively. Things will go wrong or right. He will change his temper, his mood, his feelings, his emotions. That's what we cannot expect him to be true or to be wrong. We are after words, not gossip. We are after words, not gossip. All right, say proof in English. Fine. We are after words. We want to cast our. We want to cast our words. We are after words. All right. The answer, who, Mr. Rufus? Okay, K. Answer to. I mean, reply to whom? He replied to the strange visitor. My dear students, uh, uh, you know I work for uh, Marcus Tuttle. All right, uh, say proof in English. Please get it underlined. These uh, uh, sentences because uh, these sentences will be asked for uh, reported speech in the annual examination. Because many a times these uh, conversations have been already asked in the board exams question paper. The man nudged his companion. And he brought forward an object covered with a red cloth and proceeded to remove the cover. Naturally, in the sense, uh, he moved with his elbow and uh, he brought with uh, with kind of article, an object which was uh, wrapped with a red cloth and he wanted to remove it. It was a fearsome little affair contained in a clay pot with feathers stuck into it. Uh, there was a clay, there was a, an, there was an article which was uh, wrapped with cloth, uh, which was put into a clay, yes, with pot, clay pot with uh, feathers stuck into it. It was a truly a beautiful article which was given by, yes, that strange visitor over here. The E, I mean, E in the sense, I, E, it's a native deity. Native deity of Hemophia. My dear students, native deity of Hemophia, Hemophia, in this regard, what he says, the E comes from Yambanta. The E comes from Yambanta. It's a native city of what? It's a native city of Umuofia, right? Even Okonko's mother, native city of Okonko's mother. Okonko's mother. Or even uh, it can be called as uh, village also. Yes. Native city or village of Native city or village of Ungo's mother. My dear students, why he asks this E, I mean this goddess comes from Yambanta. You know what that means? Swear that you will vote for Medka. Now, Roof, look at this. Roof, look at this red fire. You will have to cast your vote for only Bob, not for Fab. Because you are being given with five pounds red note here. You will have to understand, you will have to, you should try to know this and even its value. That's what things here promise. 
love itself. That is what for only Madhuka. You will have to promise now in the name of E that you are going to work for Madhuka itself. If you fail to do this, E take E will take your notes. E will take your notes. If you fail to do this, definitely yes, the native deity of Umofia or Hechi, village of Umofia's mother. She will definitely punish you. Now you should understand. It's left to you yourself. You should. It, it is left to you now. It is left for you. If you do not work for Maduka, you will suffer like anything in your life. This was truly a plan by the strange visitor. These these were the brain changing words. Brain changing words, brainstorming words of a strange visitor to whom to roof our roof us. Okay, okay, my dear students. Right till here, uh, we could able to discuss in this class today. I mean till page number one hundred and ten. And from next paragraph onwards, 111, we'll be continuing in the next video. Hope you are listening to the English classes. Please go through it regularly and with full of concentration. That will be more helpful for you people. Please keep subscribing. Speak to independent view online English classes. Thank you very much for. Patient listening.